everybody, welcome back to Spring on the Report the Show Gardening channel. My name is Zayden, and the camera flash is burning my eyes. So, in this video, you probably read the title, right? Hope you did. So, I'm going to be showing you my three satellite dishes today, and how they're set up, and just having a little chit-chat with them, and some future I'm going to have with them. So, the future is, you see that window right there, that I'm shining the light on? Not this one, that's my parents' bedroom. This one is my bedroom. And I might one day run a coax and a barrel connector and run it to this cable here on this, my homemade Dish Network 500 satellite. It has a splitter. I don't know if I have to use a Dish Network equipment. I don't know, but I'll probably end up putting another cable. I'll end up putting an actual Dish Network LNB on here because this one is not, this is just really a, a Chef Blair D can with a grape juice bottle over it. So, I mean, hopefully it picks up a little good signal, you know, and then I'll hook it up to my TV in my room. Also, here's another one I have. This is a Direct TV KTI satellite. Now, I restored this one. That's why it looks so good. Um, actually, I know a guy on YouTube that makes great videos. Um, Electronic Search and Gaming also restored a KTI satellite just like this. I think it had a different LNB on it. I don't know. But we have the, uh, the mount. It's to the shed. And if you can see another one. Which is back here. I mean, it used to be over here, but I said, you know what? I, I didn't want it anymore anymore. I moved it over here. And this one is a direct TV um, swimline satellite. It has, it, even though it doesn't say swimline on it, it's a swimline satellite. So I restored this one as well. The LNB has the old logo. And you can see the coax runs to here. And if you're asking, am I going to use this for my TV? The answer is no. It's too far away. And I don't, I'm not probably going to buy a 200 length cable. And it probably has to be perfect vision too for DirecTV. Um, also, I don't have equipment for it anymore. I wish I did have equipment at my old house. Sorry I said an old video. Um of the other dish homemade satellite I said that I had th that one at my old house no it was an actual dish network satellite I had in my old house it was a 500 satellite it was in the backyard it was on a pole um it's still there to this day I don't know when they put it in but I think dish also had a bracket for the arm not an arm the um mast on the side of the house, there was no dish on there. There was not even a pole. There was just uh, the mast bracket. So that was a little odd. Either they put it on, or the homeowner did, or the direct TV people did. But yet again, 2000 and whenever, I forgot the year, we didn't have direct TV. We didn't move here. So I don't know who. Um put that on but I think it's dish because that dish shadow white back there was there whew, way before I was even born so <laughs> that shadow white was there a long time so yeah I just wanted to show you a couple of these shadow whites um, that I made yet again I don't know if I have to use actual dish equipment this is a spectrum splitter I put on here time Warner spectrum and look what's crawling on the reflector. What is that? Spider of some sorts. Let me zoom in. What is that? Spider. So if you enjoyed this video somewhat, please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video around. Friends, family, even the cable guy. He'll be jealous. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep on searching for signal, I guess. Wait, no, that's another YouTuber. Renovations and repair.